digital products like ebooks, courses, recipes, photography, and other types of digital products are a great way to generate reoccurring and passive income with next to zero product costs. Now, Shopify is a powerful online store builder that allows you to upload and sell your digital products by simply integrating a special free app with your Shopify store. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief Shopify tutorial, I'm gonna share how you can simply sell your digital products using Shopify in 2023. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and launch into this Shopify and digital product tutorial. Okay, so how do you sell digital products on Shopify? Well, the first thing that you want to do is log into your Shopify backend, your admin account. Then simply navigate over to the left hand side, locate apps, click here, then navigate up to the search bar and type in digital product. And what we want to do is locate the digital downloads app by Shopify. Simply go ahead and click on digital downloads, then click on add app. Then we need to install the app. And just like that, we've added the digital downloads app. Now what we need to do is actually create a new product. Simply navigate up to products, click here, and then click on add product. This is where we want to add a new product, our digital product. So navigate over to title and add the title of your digital product. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I want to upload and sell an ebook. That is my digital product. So once you've added a title for your digital product, come down and add a description. And once you've added a description, what you can do is use these formatting options up here. You can also click on this new feature, which is auto write and Shopify will use AI to generate a description for you. All you do is click here, then add a few keywords related to your digital product, then come down and click auto write and Shopify will use AI to generate a new description that you can use in your product description. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because I already have a description. Then come down to media, click here, and go ahead and add the images that you wanna display of your digital product. Then under media, come down to pricing and add the pricing point for your digital product. Our digital product is going to be $27. You can also add a compare at price if you like. Then come down to cost per item. And if you like, you can add a cost per item to identify the profit and the profit margins. However, I'm gonna leave that because this is a digital product. Then you wanna make sure that you have track quantity selected. Come down and add a quantity to the location. This could be say 500. And this is what you have to do when uploading a digital product. Then come down and select continue selling when out of stock. This means you can continue selling this digital product basically until you decide you no longer want to sell this product. Then navigate down and under shipping, what we wanna do is select digital product or service and click here. Now, when it comes to using this app to sell digital products, you can only upload one digital file per variant per product. So if you like, you can add variants of your digital product, and then you can add a different file for each of the different variants. However, in my case, I'm just selling a ebook, and therefore there are no variants. Now, let's say that this ebook that I want to sell has multiple files. Maybe there's a PDF file and a Word file, which is more appropriate for Kindle then I need to upload multiple files. I can do that with a .zip file. Okay, so back here, what we're gonna do is navigate up to the top. 
we're going to click on active and come down and select draft then we can also navigate down here and you can select the sales channels uh, you can add the collections the tags if you like now if you want to learn more about Shopify you want to learn how to actually create a fully functional stunning online store with Shopify then what I'll do is add a beginners tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process from start to finish a to Z how to create a Shopify store okay so once you've completed adding your digital product you've added draft up here for product status simply go ahead and click on save then navigate back down to apps and click on digital downloads then click on this product this digital product that we just uploaded and then simply add the digital file for this product or for each of the product variants. Now it's important to note that the total size that you can upload is five gigabytes and only one file per product or per variant. However, like I mentioned, if you do wanna upload multiple files per product or per variant, then you can upload a .zip file. And then when a customer purchases your digital product, they will receive an email to download the files for that digital product. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add file and I'm gonna add this PDF. Give this app a moment to load your file and then come down and click on publish. And as you can see, digital files updated. Then navigate back. And as you can see, one file has been added to this product, go digital now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head up to products. This is the last step. Then go ahead and click on this product. You can see that it's currently in draft status. And then head over to product status, click on active, and then click save. And now let's go ahead and view what this product looks like. And just like that, your customers can now go ahead and purchase your digital product on your Shopify store. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Shopify and digital product tutorial. Now if you have any questions about adding digital products and selling those through Shopify, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.